morning welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be going doing my hair makeup so it's going to be an everyday makeup and hair tutorial so it's just going to be um hair dry straightened and a nice pack of makeup on um it's going to be as easy simple as that and if anyone thinking that i've never worn glasses before because i've never on this video these glasses are actually from Focus and it was like an advert on Facebook so I thought oh, I'll try them. They are 20 quid and I thought they're blue light lenses apparently and I quite actually like them. Um, apparently it helps you sleep more, reduces your headaches and all sorts so that's them. 20 quid on Focus guys, I'll put the link up here but yeah these you can probably see the blue through them just a little bit there just tints but it does work for me i don't know whether it'll work for you but i'm gonna leave these off for now while i get my hair done so i have blow dried my hair and it comes out fluffy if I use conditioner, it comes out fluffy. I think that's probably what the fact is on it. Um, I think you're supposed to use conditioner. <laughs> I just don't, because it just takes ages to rinse out, but it's nice when you do use conditioner. Okay, so I have blow dried my hair, and a little, there's some, like, a few bits that are wet, but it doesn't really bother me when I'm doing my straightening, because it's just straightening. Okay, so this is what it looks like nice and soft so just like that okay nice and soft i'm now going to oh, i've got curtains for some reason i don't know why um god i always end up having okay so I've got for my straighteners, these are straighteners, curlers, and also crimpers. I've got my Tony and Guy straighteners. Again, it's backwards, but it's Tony and Guy, and it's pretty easy to use. Um, yeah, so just gotta wait for that to heat up, and then, and it's also got a lock as well here. So if you like finish with it, you can just lock it like so. But I wouldn't recommend it while I'm heating it up. <coughs> and if anyone's thinking, oh, I need a heat bag, this comes with a heat bag. And it's I love the design of it and everything. So that's a bonus. Oh, also, I think we got it from B and M quite for Christmas. So, um, yeah. If anyone has any other suggestions, then be my guest. Right, I'm just going to do my hair now. So guys, I have straightened my hair and it doesn't look that good at the moment. But um, I'm just going to try and see if brushing it all out is going to make it better. My camera keeps sliding, it's doing my nut on. Early morning problems. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. So, my hair does look straight. Not as straight as I would like it to be. But it's straight. And I can't complain. But now, it's in the... Uh... Yeah, so, it's now... Beautiful. So, I'm going to unplug it. And also, make sure that we put it back in the bag. So, the heated bag. So, obviously, it doesn't melt anything. That's done. Um, what do I look like with these on now? I look better. I look so much better. Okay. So the next bit is my makeup. So I'm going to have to move my makeup bag somewhere. So leaning my phone somewhere. It's going to be an impossible little um, diva. I'm going to try and move it this way so I can lean on here. Awesome. 
You've probably seen this bag in another video, which is my glamour model, glamour model, glamour makeup tutorial, and there's a lot of it. Um, I'm just going to go through first what um, I'm going to be using and etc. So, just getting what I need out first, so I know where I'm coming from. I don't go like mental on makeup actually when I put it on I just put a little bit on to see me for the day and then that's pretty much all I need so yes I think that's it to me that's like nothing beyond just like oh if I think of anything else then I'll obviously guess it but I'm not too sure yet yeah okay guys so i've got what i needed out and i can simply tell you there's not much here at all but i'll quickly show you that's all i use ignore the brush this is all i use as makeup wise and i'm just gonna go through and tell you where i use it where i got it from and me using it obviously so okay <clears throat> label i'm going to start with label and um, this is a fair i think i've used it in a different video also so you've probably seen this before i have others um i have maybelline dream matte mousse foundation which i use sometimes this is usually with primer so that's that but today i'll be using this because it's the liquid it's a liquid version um, but I also have Rimmel Lasting Finish, Rimmel London Lasting Finish Nude Colour, um, which is also liquid. So sometimes I use this, but today I've chosen the label, um, which is from my, just my town shop, which is um, Just Essentials. I'll post it up there in a minute. And this I'll be placing on my face first using a sponge, which I know it looks really dirty, but it's stained. Oh, 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 loads on now. I don't put loads on either. So I actually just like dab, 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 dab. Nose. Don't forget your nose. Yeah. And then you literally just do the rest around the face. Under the eye. Yeah, make sure you don't get on the hair, which is probably the reason why most people do their hair after the makeup. But my choice is before, so that's fine. I end up just, um, just like scraping it along my face. <coughs> like that. Comes out the same, just have no patience to wait for it to blend. Cool. Cool, that's, that looks a lot better. So that's the label foundation applied using the sponge, which is going to be washed soon. Okay, I'm going to be using a <clears throat> foundation to just go over. So it's, I didn't actually show you this with all my set. I forgot to take it out of my bag. The colour of this foundation is called Harvest Beige and it's Constant Carol Compact Refill Powder. So it's like that and it also comes with like a little um, brushy thing which I don't use so it looks messy but I, I don't use it guys. Um, yeah, so I use just a normal brush and I'm just going to dab it and then put it under my eye. Just for a darker, darker blend. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're gonna do it under my chin, cheekbone. Mm. Okay, so that's that. So I literally just use it quickly and efficient. That's fine. Okay, so. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows, which is difficult to do while on camera. So I'm going to get my little special mirror, which I know most people have seen it already. But my little Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse mirror, which I got from Primark. The cheapy brand, the cheapy brand. I've been to Disney World, guys, so it's not like I, I'm faking it. But I'll use this. It's um like a nail trimmer, not a nail trimmer hair trimmer so i use it for my eyebrows if um especially you can use it for your upper lip and wherever you've got hair okay so i'm just going to shape it so it looks a little bit decent because i'm not putting any color on it or I'm not putting i'm not blending my eyebrows in today so i'm leaving it natural literally as quick as that so you can see where i've actually made the my eyebrows a little bit more curvy curvy my eyebrows are not the same both sides so if anyone's looking like oh they're not the same yeah they never are <laughs> it's as simple as that they never are the same okay so now i've done that i'm gonna go on to my eyeshadow eyeshadow i do the smallest amount of eyeshadow is unreal I use te I use Technique Color Fix, and it comes with. It actually says where you put it on your face, on the back. It's basically pressed powder contour palette. Um, yeah, and it's a smooth applicator. But it tells you on the back here where you put it on your face, which is helpful for people who are like beginners and all sorts, which is awesome. So yeah. They come, I've just got the normal natural colours um, and I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use just a normal, this one or maybe this one to do my eye, eyeshadow, just going to blend it out basically so it looks a little bit more Okay, so cool. and I might go on I might go it over I might go over with a darker colour just to give it a little bit more out there look. Obviously it's gonna be a this is a normal day makeup, but I don't wear makeup every day. This is like I'm seeing my mum 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 and dad today, so it's a little bit more special. So that's that, so that's that. And I will not be probably using eyeshadow treasury, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. So this is also this is and the same one as this. This is Technic Eyeshadow Treasury, which is not eyeshadow, obviously. It contains 24 eyeshadows, a double-ended eyeshadow brush, and a mirror. Um, yeah, I got this at the same place, which is Just Essentials, which is, I don't think everywhere do the shop. 
um, but they do an online site so if you obviously if you go online you can order it there I don't think it takes long either to get it delivered so this was 7 dollars um, yeah it comes with quite a lot of colours as I said 24 the brush in it doesn't come with it it's just the one I but yeah I've used it quite a lot and it's got the mirror cool so yeah I'm not going to use it because I think I'd be too much for what I actually I'm going to do today I'm not going out clubbing okay so I just have um I I just have mascara left to do so I don't know why this is like that right, a little bit better okay so I have a two mascaras here which are w7 i don't know if many people heard that i don't know if it's a fake brand or but it works for my eyes so i use it so the first one i'm going to be using for my eyes eyelashes is extra extra big bold lashes mascara which is this yeah so i use that first on my eye eyelashes and then I'll be using, um, I think this is vegan. I'm not sure why, how it's vegan. Yeah, but it's W7 again and it's Argan Eyes. It's called Argan Eyes. So I could, it looks like a uh, vegan, but it says healthier looking lashes. So I'm going to start by putting this on. I'm going to use my little mirror though to get for this because I need to know like my lashes closer. So... Yes. I don't know why, but I always seem to want to sneeze when I'm doing my mascara. Yeah, I don't know why. So it's a lot of that, I know. But yeah, you can already see my eyelashes coming out. I'm just going to start on the other one. I'm just going to top up every now and then to get to the length I would like it to go to. I have a really sore throat as well, so if I, my throat seems... <coughs> If my throat seems really like low and off pitch, then I've got a really bad sore throat. Which I apologise for if you can't hear me very well anyway. But yeah, this is just a makeup and um, hair tutorial, so I hope you do enjoy it. But yeah, so this eye, obviously my eye, eyelashes look a lot more like brighter, bolder, which is... Fantastic. I always keep the cheap brands because I, I know they work for my, my skin tone and... You're probably thinking, oh, like, I can't even see her doing it, but I have to do it this way. There's no other way of doing it, unfortunately. You do see it in the end anyway, like, you can see my eyelashes. You can see my eyelashes now anyway, so I don't even know, like, anyone's problem. My left one is a bit harder to, to see with um, my, my mascaras, because I don't have many eyelashes on this one. Because I seem to just pull them out when I'm taking my mascara out late, in, late at night. Oh, 
my eyelash is stuck on this one. I was really hoping it wasn't going to happen. I hate stuck eyelashes. How does that look? It's alright. I like my right one better. And then we're just going to do the bottom. Just make it a little bit bolder. Cool. So I'm just going to be using the Argan Eyes to top it up at the moment into how thick I'd like it. Okay, so I didn't spend too long doing that. So that is all my makeup and I'm going to show you the, the out, the out, the after my makeup and hair, which is good. So this is my hair and this is my makeup. And I hope also you go onto this website, which I'm going to link down in the description. It's called Focus, and it's blue light glasses. I think they're $19.99. Um, they are amazing for me. I don't know whether they're going to work for you, but I can't stop wearing them. They're just so, they're so comfy. They fit well, and oh my God, I've got a little dot on my nose. But yeah, I think this is a good one. But this is my everyday makeup, and I hope you enjoy it, and... Subscribe below for notifications every time I upload and I hope you have a good day. So I'll see you next video.